one of the first uh, energy efficient settlements here in middle uh, Germany. We have here 11 buildings made in wooden construction, everything renewable, recycled um, materials and something like this. And we have here passive houses. They um, produce uh, their energy by the photovoltaic system. So some of these buildings are energy independent, but they need only um, a few euros for heating, um, warm water and the electrical devices. So it's really, really um, cheap. And we start this, um, this um, settlement 10 years before, as the energy costs are uh, not so high than today. So we took a long um, um, view in the future and we said to the people, let's uh, keep an eye on energy efficiency on a time that is not uh, usable in Germany. So no, no one does it. And the people said, hey, you are a crazy guy, for what should it be? And we found people who um, has the same opinion and, and, and they, they had this future mind and said, hey, yes, this could be because it's an investment uh, of a long time and not only of uh, this time we have to pay, you know, afterwards we have costs, additional costs. And what we do here is this space was from the church this area and we have here 12,000 square meters and only a third of that are the buildings. Other things are commun community uh, space and uh, the, the nature space for the children to play on that with trees, with nature, with um, something to eat, yes, you know, with fruits and um, herbs. So we made everything by ourselves. This is, was a really great community. The people works on the building together. We worked together on the wooden constructions and on the outside area. Every, every plant you see here, we made by ourselves. The architects with the people who live here, with the children there yeah, too. It was really a great project. We um, needed um, one year, only 12 months for the 11 houses and uh, everything was prefabricated too. So one year for the whole settlement and then it was finished. And now everything is grown up. Not only uh, the trees and the plants, the children too, yes. And, and you see that there's a lifestyle here, you know. It's, some people said it's Mediterranean because the, um, if, if the workers, yes, you know, the fathers came from work uh, at five o'clock, so the people are outside sitting here in the common space and drinking something together. We have here space to make fire, to meet, yeah. And I think this is really, this is lifestyle to keep the cost, the building costs, really slow. So we used the same uh, detail and the same construction for each um, uh, building. So this was a really big advantage because we have one craftsman for each um, detail, you know, uh, one electrical uh, craftsman, one um, wooden constructor, so and one guy who made the windows. So we can, we could, uh, um, uh, get really good prices for these buildings. We, 10 years ago, we were cheaper, cheaper than the normal houses made by the normal manufacturers, you know, so by the companies. The companies want to, to earn money, so, and we ask the people directly and say, what is it if you build this settlement? So you have a really big contract, but you have to keep it che cheap. And the people do, um, does uh, many things for itself. Yeah, the inside, uh, um, um, construction, they did many, many, many things for itself and we keep the costs really, really slow. So we have the same module, but we put it around here and we, we throw it here in different uh, angles to the sun and um, so every building is unique on the inside. It looks only on the outside, but in the inside every building is unique and not only the toilet, everything. It's a totally uh, different um, um, the drawings. As we started here, the church came and said, please do, do, do not the same buildings, yes, every building the same with a garage on it. So it's, it's, it's really typical for Germany. Um, and it's really typical that you, you, you ask a contractor, a big contractor, and he said, hey, please do everything. So, and here the pastor came, yeah, the Pope came to, to me and he said, hey, you are a young architect. I was a student at this time and he said, what can we do with this? And I said, hey, let's do something for only for families and let's do something energy efficient. And he said, what's that? So, and we said, let's do passive houses and it was totally new in Germany. So only a few passive houses were built uh, to, at this time. 
and we say let's make a really high quality living space for for families with the children so and not only house garage house garage and then you have only a small garden so like um, like uh, Hühner here, bok bok bok, he has meeting like birds, you know? <laughs> yes, it's, it's normal, you have only small gardens and then put your children around like, like, like the birds in a, in a, in a box, in a, yeah, a cave fish, no? So, and we want to have space and we want to have the view, the view on the mountains, so, and on the castle, on the old castle. So, and we want to have nature, we want it not to have uh, only, only privacy, so if you look around, we have enough privacy, but we have really, really big um, open space and public space for all people. So this is really great. And then we put a sign, only a letter, a little letter, put it in the kindergarten. And we ask, are there people who have fun on such a project? And the telephone rings the whole day. So, and during one week, we had so much people uh, they wanted to have that, so then we discussed with every people, are you a family that is really able to, to understand what we do here and is it, is it uh, um, a good part of this uh, community, you know? And therefore at least we have 11 families and it was a really great project during three, three years, two years of, um, of preparing that, so and then one year of uh, building phase.